Oh, welcome back to another video where we're going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to install uh, OpenFone 12. Okay, so it was released very recently. Also, we're going to do the same video to install OpenFone, the version by ESI 2406, also was released very recently. So this is a series of incremental videos uh where we show how to install open phone using open uh, open suse 15.5 okay so as you have followed the previous videos the installation it is straightforward so pretty much you can quit the video at this point and go ahead and install however there is a very small difference in open phone 12 for part of you so just jump to the, in the in the timeline to that uh just to see what is happening there but the installation is very, very, very straightforward. So remember, you can come here, you can download the source code, you will have the instructions. So here, compiling the source code, you enter here and you have the, the instructions. So in previous versions here in the instruction, you also had a, li a list with some other dependencies for other uh, Linux uh, operating system. Now everything is, is, is only for you will to and in any case you also in the video description uh, and you have the link to download this our instruction so you have all these steps so very important remember is open source 15.5 and then here you have all the steps so basically just go ahead and type this in your uh terminal window okay so if you haven't done this you already have done follow our videos for sure you already have it but you can do it again and it's already installed there is no problem so here you have all the steps okay these are compulsory dependencies then you have these dependencies for compiling paraview now in the new version uh the developers they also recommend to use the system installation and that is the difference okay so here we're going to show you what what changed there but for the rest it's exactly the same so as i say this is only for for compiling part of you, then some extra developers libraries. And at this point, we can download uh, the source code. So you can download the tar file or you can use GitHub. This is the, the way I recommend. So let me do it here because you can also update it. So very often developers, they do some day and so on. So basically my advice is to install, you can install whatever you want. Uh, I will go here and we'll put in the directory open phone and let me use github to download the source code and also this library here so you also have the instructions to download the link to to download these instructions so now that we have the source code we can go ahead and install something else very important as well let me open my batch rc file because also in OpenSUSE, you have to be careful you need to give the the location of the open mpi you have it here also in the, in the descriptions, I put these instructions here, but okay. And then also I create a, an alias to, to source uh, open phone because we have many install in this case, many, many versions installed together. I like to, to leave also version 10 because it's pre open phone 11 where there is a big, big change. It's, you, you don't know the changes. There is uh, also a link in the video just to help you transition to open phone 11. Open phone 12 is pretty much in the same line. So you have the release notes here. You have all the notes what happened. I'm not going to detail. Feel free to read it. But uh, still, everything with open phone 11, 12 are compatible. Just improvement, now some improvements are probably a new keyword. So that being said, let's keep reading here the, the instructions so we will know everything be careful to to to, to point to the right location for open mpi creative source and at this point we can low open phone so i have this alias so it will source open phone phone it will go to the installation directory and pretty much at this point we can go and and compile so the compilation is all the you make minus J and that will take all the uh, processors, all the cores in my computer. I have this, I, 
think 16 uh, features or something like that. But well, I have many, many cores available. So I invite you also now just to feel, to read these instructions. Now, so it's very straightforward. If you use all them to I'm giving you for OpenSUSE. Uh, what, what is interesting is that the small difference, as I mentioned for part of you now, since are done in a little different way. So it's here, what is explained, nothing critical, but I would point to that. So at this point, let me launch the compilation and let's wait a little bit until everything is compiled. Okay, so we're back. So the compilation process went smoothly, as he mentioned. You already follow a previous video. You have all the uh, requirements should go smooth. So here we have all the compilation. So I was doing in parallel and so on. So it's up to you. So now we can go. Let me here. Let's run tutorial as usual our frame block man and remember eco stuff doesn't anymore for run everything now the only difference and here is comes the, the dimension the, what i mentioned about part of it is installation so now the developers if you go to the instructions they, they recommend to install the 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 pre-compiled binary your system version okay so it's like if i go here and actually part of phone doesn't exist, already have fear in this. So you use our uh, virtual machine, we have part of you 512, you no know, the pre-compiled binary, and this is it, okay? And then you can open the case in the in the usual way. Nothing changed. However, I like to compile part of you that comes with open phone because it comes with a plugin that it can be useful for some stuff. It's not that you need it, but any case, just to show you. So now that big difference that now we have is you go to Etsy and then you go into bad RC. So look at it half here, these flags and here, look at it. You have some comments and so on. So for Paraview, it will be here. Part of your system. This is telling that you need to that it will use, it will get the system installation. That's all. But if you want to compile the one with open phone, and this is different, okay? Right ahead of the box. There. You put this. Now we're going to compile the open form version. And this is very important. So you want to use the, the part of view version that comes with open form, put search part to here, and then we can do the compilation process. So now that we did this, remember that we need to source again, but this is stuff, OF12, uh, because we have that new variable. So now it's fully working. Let's focus now in part of you. Okay. So that is part here. Now, if you go here in our instructions, you have here, okay, the steps. So we go here and this is, okay, this is another addition that you have. You can specify the version of part of you. So let's just stick with this one. So in open source, it will give problems with QMA. So this is a way to, to, to find the path where it's located, okay? So it might happen in, in some other operating system. You have it in, in OpenSUSE, so you add that. Remember that we already solved many of the problems that we have some, some dependencies with here, with part of you, somewhere here, you have many part of your dependencies, so this. So it tends to be tricky. I already had everything, so all problem has been solved. And at this point, it's just launch. It will download part of you and then we can go and compile everything so the next step will be just is running that one this one will refresh then we go back to the directory recompile the binary and that's all it's a fully working version okay so now it will start the compilation process uh here as 
uh, uh, be careful. Sometimes the compilation might crash if you are compiling in parallel. So don't enter into panic. So relaunch the compilation and probably that will fix. But if you follow our instructions, it should compile with no problem. Here also a launch is using all the processor. Hopefully nothing will happen. So at this point, let's wait for the compilation process. That uh, probably this is a little bit lengthy. But yeah, as, I'm, as it is recommended by the developers, use the binary. But I like this plugin that comes with this one. So let's do it. Okay, we're back. So we have an installation. So as I mentioned, run in parallel, just monitoring here. Let me minimize that. Remember, sometimes it might mysteriously crash. It can be due to the parallel compilation. So you can launch with the score or in serial, which will take longer. But also be careful, read your screen. But in any case, if you follow our instructions, you install all our dependencies. You shouldn't have any problems with open phone with open source 15.5. Okay, you have all the dependencies, so it's crystal clear here. So now the next step is this one. So it will do something there. And now very important because we have Paraphone, Paraview, Paraphone, but we need to recompile here to add also the plugin to compile a plugin that comes with open phone, which adds some nice options now like visualizing regions and stuff that with part of you see uh, visualizing blocks and so on i don't want to go into details but in any case it's up to you if you want to compile it as you see there are no problems and this is the compilation i mentioned now that is specific plugin you can see there what it's doing so this is a relative fast uh, compilation so let's wait a little bit So, and you can see here that you have you now compiling those libraries and so on. So very specific stuff. And at this point we're done. Okay. Everything compiled, everything fine. And to end, well, we can rerun the tutorial. Okay. And, and run part of it. So also like this here, just to create your user directory. Okay, so you see type run and then there you can put your cases there. So in any case, let's go to tutorial. Let's go again to compressible fluid cavity. This is the one that we want to run. So it's block mesh, then phone run. It's running and the last step will be part of phone. And now it will launch and there you go fully working installation no problems okay we can close it here and just to remind you that also you can use in our case we install here and also remember that you need to let me do catenation there to phone case to create that one it will create that file and that's what now i can open that file Okay, so this is the difference. I just see that now here you didn't have. Okay, give me an error. Shows probably it shows the wrong reader. But well, anyways, you get the point there. I have the the system one and then the the one with open phone. And at this point, okay, let me do some cleaning phone case and we'll go back to phone you have it there then remember at any point you can do git pull and it will download you now the any updates that developers you now put in, put online also there is a command that i like atk that it lets you see all the you no know, updates and everything you can keep tracking of what is happening. You can follow also you now the Twitter that they have a very nice Twitter feed and 
you can see what is happening. So yeah, this is it. So the instructions you have it there, pretty much we're doing the same, but for OpenSUSE and we have the, the dependencies. I invite you, you know, in this one, a step four, service party software not read because this is the same that it's changing now. So they have some steps here, but do not com get confused. Now it's just, it's giving you the capability now to, to, to to use existing libraries, personally speaking, I prefer to use what comes with open for personal reason. And there you go. Okay, so move there, and that's it. So at this point, uh, thank you very much for your for your attention. So this is open from twelve incremental. Uh, videos that we show the installation always in OpenSUSE fifteen point five. I have to say that also in install. I installed OpenFone 12 in OpenSUSE 15.6, but it's a little bit trickier, so I don't want to do the transition. I don't see any reason just to do that transition because everything is working. So many things that I also, other tools that I use doesn't work with 15.6 or they do work, but it's a little bit tricky. So it's better to stay with this, which is simple, which is simple, but eventually, yeah, we, we, we should do the, 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 the transition just to stress that these dependencies they are not the same okay so if you want to try 15.6 be careful that there are some different dependencies so that's all thank you for your attention and see you next time bye